Good evening, everyone. Tonight with Nashville Mayor Megan Berry trying to calm her city hall scandal, a former federal prosecutor says her biggest challenge may be political, not criminal. Still, he says the mayor has got some explaining to do for investigators. News Channel 5's chief investigative reporter Phil Williams continues to ask the tough questions. Phil. Well, Gary Blackburn has prosecuted public officials and he's also defended them. He says when it comes to Mayor Barry's affair with her police bodyguard and the overtime he charged taxpayers, prosecutors may have a tough time making a criminal case. Hi, how are you doing? From the beginning, Mayor Barry has insisted that taxpayers only paid for Sergeant Rob Forrest when he was actually doing his job. How can taxpayers know that all of that overtime was completely legitimate? Oh, if you look at my schedule versus his overtime, you will see that my schedule reflects that I was out there working. We checked and last year on Saturday, February 18th, Forrest charged taxpayers for 14 hours overtime, working from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. The mayor's schedule shows three appointments early that ended at 2.30. That night, there's a private appointment. So it raises questions. And I would suspect this is precisely what the TBI will look at. In fact, Barry's office says the mayor was taking in a concert of the Long Players at Nashville's 3rd and Lindsley, along with her husband Bruce. Then there's Sunday, July 30th. Forrest put in 10 hours overtime, but there's nothing on the mayor's schedule. It turns out that's the day that Barry found out that her son Max had died. Forrest was the one who broke the news. Based on what we know so far, I think the likelihood of criminal charges is very small. Blackburn says police chief Steve Anderson has made it clear he believes Barry needed the security when she was out in public and when she was traveling. And if there are any questionable expenditures, Blackburn says the mayor could easily fix the problem by paying back the money. But we're talking about several hundred dollars at a time, a few thousand dollars. If that has been paid, the city has no loss. Uh, it may be arguably an ethics violation, but that's not a crime. Ironically, the decision will be made by D.A. Glenn Funk. After our investigation discovered Funk had engaged in a questionable pension deal two years ago, he paid the money back, and the Tennessee Attorney General decided not to prosecute. I think uh, the public perception of the mayor is the greatest threat to her continuing as mayor and to be successful as mayor rather than criminal charges. And here's the other thing you need to know. If the TBI investigates and the DA decides not to prosecute, we may never know what investigators found. That's because under state law, the TBI's files are confidential. Vicki. Thanks, Phil.